Swords and Sandals 2, the Redux Edition, does not have a current world record on speedrun.com. So, I set out to change that. One sure shot way to achieve success in life is to set your goals real low. Came as a huge surprise to me that nobody was speedrunning this newer version of this classic Flash game. Yeah. Flash game. Back before all preschoolers had cell phones and tablets, kids who wanted to waste time in class would have to find creative ways to go to sites like AddictingGames.com or other Flash game websites. There you could play games in browser or some places would allow you to download them. Well, nowadays we have Steam, and when I heard that Swords and Sandals 2 caught a remake and was available on there, well, this guy finally got himself a Steam account. You might be wondering what the hell is Swords and Sandals? Oliver Joyce, creator of this franchise, might have actually been high when he wrote the story to this. I'm just kidding, obviously, but as with most geniuses in this life, his mind probably exists in a different dimension that none of us will easily understand. Basically, you're a pirate whose ship went down and you find yourself stranded on the island of Doomtrek, which is clearly located in international waters. And that's because they have daily death matches between foreigners who have somehow become stranded on the island. Like, the, the dire situation you find yourself in is not even unique. Regardless of the very intriguing and creative story behind this game, you can find yourself sinking hours into it quite easily. There's a bunch of tongue-in-cheek humor scattered throughout it as well, providing some much-needed comic relief in life. <laughs> if you can defeat all 20 arena champions in this RNG-based fighting game, you win, and you sail off into the sea that stranded you uh, on your brand new boat, which was j apparently just kicking around on the island the whole time. Like there was some dude with a boat and before I show you what I did and summarize the run, two things. First, you can watch the entire unedited run right here. Second, if you've ever wanted to support my channel but also not wanted to do anything at the same time, consider watching this plug for this week's sponsor. And you better watch the whole damn thing, like all the way through. I can fucking see you. I can, I can see you. And that sponsor is Who Else But? Raid Shadow Legends. This game has taken over, and nothing will ever be the same. We all have heard of this epic game from our favorite YouTubers. So you might be wondering, what could possibly be going on this month that I should give a flying F about? Well, let me tell you, friends. From their already badass roster containing two of my favorite champions, Rosie the Riveter, or as you common players call her, Menea to the one-hitter quitter boss battling badass Bellinor, who looks like a hero you would get if you crossed Tyriel the Archangel with Elfo from Disenchantment. Raids got a ton happening this month with a fresh rotation of that brutal Hydra boss and a ton of events and tournaments every single day, almost like the daily death matches of Swords and Sandals too, including some holiday specific events for the month of February, where you can get your hands on a brand new legendary champion. This is the best time to get started in Raid, and if you click my link in the description or scan my QR code on the screen, you'll get some pretty dope bonuses, courtesy of Cooley. You guys, you're, you're welcome. We're talking a free epic champion, Vergus, 200k silver, an energy refill, an XP boost, and one ancient shard so you can summon a dope-ass champion as soon as you step in game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Now go, my friends, and raid the shadows and explore this amazing game. Now, back to the video. Much like Diablo 2, when you level up in Swords and Sandals, you get some stat points to help you improve your characters. But as anyone who's ever played this game knows, the best thing to do is to build a singer, which is Diablo speak, for a character that screams at his opponents and somehow kills them. While this build might not be a viable PvP build in Diablo 2, it's really good in Swords and Sandals 2. We do this by putting a ton of points into Charisma as we level up and try to balance that with some stamina points so we don't run out of breath from all of the yelling. Which I guess kind of, you know, I guess it makes sense. Since enough of my college days weren't wasted to this oddly addicting game, I decided to speedrun the Redux version of it and submit an official request to speedrun.com to get it counted on their site. We set the world record time for this Redux version of this game. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from this run and indulge in the sheer beauty 
and amazing graphics of this game. Oliver Joyce also wrote the score to this thing. Like, the music is actually pretty dope, man. You heard that intro. The crowd is calling your name. Oh, shit, man. Oh, shit! Listen to that score, bros. Listen to this. This is what I'm talking about. I could jam to this all day. This guy's like a triple threat. He's programmer and composer. That sounded good when I started it. Good RNG. You keep your distance, big guy. You keep your distance. You stay right over there. And you go right to sleep. You go right to sleep. And you die. You go to sleep and you die. That's right. That's what's up. Alright. Cool. Oh no! We got spiked! Technically, you get a drink. You're gonna be counting sheep here in a minute, bro. Permanently. Lieutenant Dan. We're going against Lieutenant Dan. We're getting them. This could be it. This could be it for Lieutenant Dan. That's it. Blew him apart with our voice. He even lost a leg. All right, before this tournament, as any good speedrunner should do, I have to take a piss, man. I, I gotta piss. B BRB. Didn't even wash the hands because the commitment to the speed run. Oh my god, crit hit! And it is all over! I gotta say, boys, I gotta say, it's, it's lonely at the top. I've never meant that statement more than I do right now. Now these are clips that we took from multiple runs because, believe it or not, this game was actually super fun. But be sure to check out the official run that I'm submitting for world record linked in the video or in the description and let me know what you think. See you over there.